Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm SPG and this time with the Dauntless video. Now in this Dauntless video, I'm going to talk about the new Omni cell that dropped on update 1.9.3, which is the artificial cell. Now the artificial cell is a cell very different from the others because it is a support cell. Now, if you play Dauntless, you know that there isn't exactly a support class or support theme or even a support build exactly for this uh, cell or for, or for the, 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 the way people slayers usually play i mean you do have a medic cell that's pretty cool i do have a medic build per se, but the game doesn't really have that differentiation most people just go for damage oh, oh all you need is really dps you don't need to help so the introduction of this cell was re really i was really happy with it and i do like it but there are some problems with it now to build the artificial cell you need two brilliant plumes that you can only get from the new behemoth the radiant koshai by breaking his tail while he's on aether mode and this is the footage that i'm showing you here it's not that difficult to do i mean the behemoth is actually quite fun to fight he just has um, a big area of attack with all these lasers and that's a real problematic because the first time i saw it okay i thought i had no place to run but then you know as more as i fight it there's you know ways to dodge it ways to get behind it and to actually cut the tail you actually need to uh, i'll show you with the footage here uh, i got two in a row you know i just fought him on i think it was paradox breaks yes i think it was paradox breaks where he uh, now spawns and you can get it easily Then you just need to go to the middleman on Ramsgate and build the cell there. Now this cell has uh, four variations that you can use. The first one is to revive players. If a player is down, you can just tell the cell, you no know, point at it, tell the cell to rip it, which is really cool. You can revive it at distance, you don't need to be there on the ground with it. You know, accessible to the <laughs> behemoth to attack, which he does. Behemoths are kind of programmed to do that, to attack if you're trying to help the player that is down. There are, however, a few problems. The first problem is with the cell itself, which needs 90 seconds of cooldown. If you have one, if another cool, you cannot use the cell, which to me doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, I don't know why they put the cooldown in it. Um, I mean, if like the Agoras uh, Legendary Ability, which revives every Slayer at the same time, That'll be okay. That needs a cooldown because it's just overpowerful. But if you're reviving one by one, at 90 seconds cooldown, it's just really, really big. It's actually so big that the cooldown of the, you know, of the uh, self revive that slayers have actually is faster. So the, many times the slayer falls down, it just revives itself, which is fine. You, you don't have to, to use the Omni Cell. But even if, if um, he exhausted all his three revives and is waiting on the cooldown of his own, of his own revive so he can revive himself again it takes faster than the omni cell to do it which i don't think it makes a lot of sense so you can use one revive per fight generally because the fights do tend to end pretty fast and you can't use it again so yeah i don't really like that the second thing it has is the ability to heal and create shields to fellow slayers which is the artificial aura now cleansing stats on, on uh, teammates is a little bit complicated because Unless they're burning, other status like and something like that are not exactly visible. Not very visible. Also, if they're burning, they're probably rolling around on the ground trying to save themselves. So you can't really pin it off. And it's even harder if they're fighting against the behemoth. Many times, you know, I see a they have low health, so I want to help him. He's, you know, hitting the behemoth, close to the behemoth. And I throw the Omni Cell in the Omni Cell almost every time, like 80 90% of the time, it just hits the behemoth. Just glues itself to the, the part of the behemoth instead of gluing itself to the behemoth and help them. Which is which leads me to the third part of this cell, which is you can throw this cell to the behemoth and to which part of the behemoth and that part will get 50% uh, more damage. That's pretty cool. The problem is it doesn't do anything in kind of in support to yourself or to your fellow slayers. I mean, it doesn't do life steal. I mean, if you hit the, the that part, it doesn't steal life for yourself. If other teammates hit that part, does not heal them also, and you can't even you know heal yourself. And while you're healing yourself by hitting that part, heal others. You know, like the vampiric uh, potion that we have, the vampiric potion that I actually use sometimes in my support ability, which is the more damage you do, uh, the more healing it does to other other slayers. So, I think this particular effect of the Omni Cell should be 
if you throw the artificial into a part, everybody hits that part, and the part gets, you know, a little fragments of light, which is, isn't, it, it's not very visible. I mean, if you're alone, fine, it's easy to see, but if you're uh, with four other players all doing specials and attacks and all that, it's not very visible. There should be another way, like, you know, the repeaters have that, that um, bullseye mark, and it's something a little bit more like that, instead of just hovering on top and do a little uh, sparkles. So it needs to be more visible, and I think that everybody that hit that part should have a little bit of life steal, even if they don't have ice. Well, for instance, they may have discipline, and they may be low on health, and hitting it uh, with a, with that big damage would heal themselves. I think that will work a lot better. The last thing that the artificial cell does is a ground area. It's pretty much like putting a health pile on on the ground. Uh, but the area is really, really small, and uh, also it protects us for, from missiles and beams. So it's cool. It means, imagine if you're using repeaters, you can just put it on the ground and stay inside and shoot the beam at that distance, which is pretty cool. It'll also be cool if we had a bow. Hello, Phoenix Hives. Hello, a bow. Where, where's the bow? <laughs> but if other players don't know how it works, or if they're you know, engage, you know, the behemoth, they are not going to just run away to that part just to get a little bit of health. Some might do if they know what, uh, if it's necessary, if they know what it's doing. If not, it's just something that's away and they're not, you know, they're not moving away from it. Another thing is you cannot use it on yourself. Now, I have used it on myself once when I was playing uh, in a private hunt. So I'm not sure if it does it, uh, if you're using in a private hunt, if you're using play for a soul, you can actually use it on yourself. Or if it was just uh, a bug or such, uh, just a fluke, because when I tried to do it, it with teammates, so I, you know, uh, cast it on myself, and when I get close to the him to hit it, other players that are close to the him hitting it also would get healed. You know, it'd be like that area from the Kershide Lantern that gives 15% increase in in speed and attack speed. You activate it, and that area around you just helps other players. So I was hoping that I could use it on myself. Start attacking the behemoth, and all those close to me would also benefit from it. But it doesn't happen like that with teammates. If I try to put it on myself, it just lands up on the ground. So I think they need to tweak this a little bit. I think it should be castable on yourself if you point it at yourself. I think the cell needs a way for you to use it either on a behemoth or a player or yourself. You know, have this things more automatic or more distinguishable. One of the things could be just increasing the radical area, just so, uh, to be bigger. So if the other Slayer is moving, uh, you can just throw the radical at it. It should prioritize other Slayers and not the Behemoth, unless you want to. I don't know how, I don't know how, how you could switch between the two, but it should happen. Uh, especially if you're playing with teammates. If you're playing solo, you could just you know be the Behemoth or yourself. But if you're playing with other players, it should prioritize maybe healing other players and only then sticks to the behemoth. I don't know. There should be a way to do this better. I just thought of this, so I'm going to leave here my idea. One thing could be about the distance, you know, like the reticle in the repeaters changes according to the distance. Uh, maybe the reticle to the Omnicell could also change according to the distance and what you're in. For instance, if you're far away, it would be bigger and prioritize Slayers. If you're close enough to Behemoth, it would prioritize the Behemoth. If you just turn it upon yourself, you know, put the camera looking down and looking at yourself, you would cast it upon yourself. That's just an idea. Now, I do like the Omnicell. I do like the Phoenix Labs uh, engage on creating this cell because, you know, support is not really a thing on the game but with this uh, uh, it can be and i do like it and i've added to my the build that i already have for for support but it needs a lot it, it needs a little bit of work not a lot of work but a little bit of work to make it function as the game is right now function with the game function with teammates so that's it that's the video uh the build that i'm using will be at the end i hope you enjoyed it if it helps you please like and subscribe and as always have a great game guys